In this example, we will be laying out what I would consider to be a half ledger. This would be having a 2x4 at the bottom instead of a full ledger. This could be a 2x6 also, a 2x2, two two, you could do whatever. You could simply place the 2x4 like this and mark it, or use a framing square as uh, shown in a, some, one of the previous examples. Remember, one side of the framing square uh, has a, is an inch and a half wide and is perfect for laying out uh, anything that is an inch and a half wide, like a two by four at the bottom of a, or I should say at the top of a stairway for a ledger or a half ledger. Once you get it into position, just simply mark it. Next step will be to mark where the two by four, top of the two by four will be. And this can be done from either side of the line. Where I'm marking it now might not provide you with full bearing of the stringer on the ledger. You might want to mark it from the other side. Um, but again, it might only be about a 3 8 or a half of an inch difference. So keep that in mind while you're laying out the half ledger. And again, this is not a real popular method for laying out a stringer. Um, I've never used it. The only reason why, why I threw it in here is because I have seen it done before and uh, I would prefer going with a full ledger but understand why uh, in some cases you might need to lay it out this way. So there it is. Um, don't forget to scratch out all of the um, pencil marks um, so you don't get confused when you're cutting the stair stringer. A lot of times uh, I've seen people um, cut the wrong lines. I've even done it myself. So anyway, that's it for this example.